Cisco Endpoint AMP, Orbital. We're going to look for TrickBot um, malware in our environment. And this is a, a mutex, right? So we're going to search for a specific uh, mutant um, called global slash TrickBot or VLOC or MGLOB. Um, this is threat hunting in malware, and this is the attack tactics is persistent. So malware writers are going to use uh, mutexes to determine whether or not they've compromised an endpoint, right? The goal here is um, th th for the adversary not to continually reinfect an asset, right? Because that's going to trigger a defensive capabilities and they're going to get caught. And so this is one way of them to try to avoid that, right? Is create mutants and look for those mutants and then don't, you know, execute the payload any further. And so you can see here, we're looking for global slash trick bot. I've done a scan against an endpoint. Obviously it's clean, right? Most of the assets in my environment are going to come back clean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a power script sh uh, command that I, I, I found and uh, it's called mutex slash test. And, and when I run that, it's going to generate that mutant. And you can see it's base name object slash trick bot. So again, I don't have, you know, trick bot running in my environment. And the one thing that I've noticed, though, if I run that query against global slash trick bot, which we'll do here, it's going to come back empty. And that might be because the way the mutant was created, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but the thing is with all these queries is you can modify them, right? Very, very quickly, right? Once you know what you, you're looking for, you could have obviously did or and just look for TrickBot, right? As an, a, an extension of that query. And you can see it detected it, right? Um, it's got the object type is mutant and object name is, is TrickBot. If I go back and I, again, I can look at... Um, Process Explorer, I can see that TrickBot's there as a mutant and I can um, close the handle and then do a search using Process Explorer again on, on, and this is Windows 10 by the way, and it comes back clean. And now if I run that query, it should also come back clean. And that's it, a pretty easy way for looking for malware remnants running in the environment, pretty cool.